This shy creature is among Australia's most endangered, which is why the Taronga Conservation Society is trying to protect his kind. The number of Tasmanian devils in the wild is steadily declining, so a team of international experts is meeting in Hobart to formulate a plan to save them. The worst case scenario, I believe, is, is that Tasmanian devils may be extinct if we don't do anything in the wild in Tasmania in about 15 to 20 years. So it's, it's pretty, it's, it's not desperate, but it, it's not very good. And it's very important that we do try and save them because they're the last remaining, uh, the biggest remaining carnivorous marsupial. Um, they're top of, the, top of the tree, so to speak, in Tasmania. So it's really important that we save them. The biggest threat to this iconic species is a very deadly disease. A cancer that uh, unusually is contagious, is very rare, but unfortunately with the Tasmanian devils, um, when, they, when they get inoculated, if you like, when they come together to feed, they bite each other, um, they have fights, and, and they almost inject each other with those cells, those cancerous cells, and unfortunately the Tasmanian devil, uh, its immune system doesn't recognise it as a foreign cell. And that's the primary issue, and that's why, unfortunately, they're very susceptible to the disease. But Taronga is doing their bit to help the Tasmanian devils with a breeding program in place. And this is their man of the moment. Tex is our most feisty male. We have about we have five males and two females here at Taronga. Um, and Tex, we're pretty sure, we're quite proud of Tex because we're pretty sure he's, he's a new dad. We know that our female, uh, Martha, is pregnant, well she's not pregnant, she has two babies in her pouch, maybe more. Tim Artlett for The Daily Telegraph.